Hey guys, thanks for coming to this tutorial. So this is going to be a really quick one about uh, multi-line text fields, what we've been waiting for uh, ever since SwiftUI came out, which is also now known as a text editor. So we're going to start by creating an app. And if you've opened up Xcode 12, you'll see actually that opening an, or creating an app um, is a little bit different. What you get when you launch it is a little bit different than what you're used to. So I'll start by naming this project Code Tutorials underscore text editor. I'm going to click next. I'm just going to go to my desktop. I'm going to put in a folder there, create it. All right, and you'll see right off the bat, there is so much more going on in this screen. Um, and it has a lot to do. I, I mean, there's just so much stuff that comes with it by default. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify everything. What you're probably used to seeing when you start a project, that all, all, all none of that's there. Everything from the add item function, all that junk, we're going to get rid of all of that. Uh, from here to here. All right, we can get rid of the item formatter. I'm not saying these aren't useful, important things. They just don't have any purpose for what we're making. Um, and then for the actual body, I'm going to get rid of every single thing in there as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and create our very basic text that says, hello. So we click resume just to make sure we're kind of back at a good starting point. We're looking at our canvas here. So if you don't have this open here, you can always open the canvas over here this way. Uh, just make sure that was checked here, so canvas. So once that kind of gets moving, what we're going to start by doing is we're going to take the text and I'm going to actually put it in a VStack. And this is just for the sake of demonstration. You don't have to do this every time. Um, this won't actually end up loading our text now because I've made some modifications, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to go here and say plus, and you'll only see these items that you can drag and drop in here if you are actually using the canvas. So make sure you have the canvas open if you're trying to do drag and drop. Uh, what you'll see is that you can grab a text editor and you can put it inside here. Another option is to literally just create it by starting to type the words text editor. And you can see that our options here of what the parameters are for text editor. Okay. Text editor. And, there we go. and you'll see that I can put something constant in here. Like for instance, uh, the word hello. But if we try to actually run this canvas, you'll see that we can. So I'll, I'll click play here to run the canvas to try to actually modify the text. I can't modify it because we, it's a constant value. Now if you're trying to use something that's kind of more dynamic, you can come here and just create a state variable, kind of like when you had text fields previously. It'll be a state variable. It'll be called, um, let's just say text field or text editor content. It's going to be string. It's going to have a default value of nothing. Then I can just go ahead and get rid of this here and just say that's going to be equal to text editor content. Got to put that. Now if I click resume, you'll see that it starts off with nothing. And I can add whatever I want. And it's now multi-line, you see? And that's pretty much it. So uh, if you're trying to figure out how to now use this in another way, I mean, this can be used, uh, how to use this variable that you've stored that is now bound to the text editor. You'll know that you can essentially uh, manipulated the same way you can manipulate a text field. Um, one thing that I wanted to point out here is that the text editor, just like a scroll view, um, it likes to take up the entire space that it, that it can be given. So for instance, or not, not even just like a scroll view, even a bunch of other things. So I can get rid of the text editor. What if I just want to add like the color blue? You'll know that the color blue will take over the entire screen. So different types of views will, will expand to encompass the entire screen, whereas a text, for instance, will not. You can tell because I can click on it, and that's the size of the text. It's just this little guy right here. But if I go and use the text editor, you'll see that the text editor, based on this blue ba these blue bounds, likes to take over the entire screen. So that's just something to think about when you're doing some styling. Otherwise, that pretty much wraps up how to use a text editor, something that we've been waiting for for a long time. All right, guys, thanks for coming.